nearly six decades have passed since the idea of warp speed first leaped into popular culture with Star Trek. What once seemed pure fantasy is now edging closer to scientific inquiry. The concept of bending space-time around a vessel creating a bubble that carries a spacecraft across interstellar distances has moved from the screen to the WHITEBOARD. In this exploration, we'll trace warp travel's evolution, its origins in fiction, its mathematical foundations, the barriers that kept it hypothetical and the breakthroughs now shifting the conversation from impossible to plausible. From twin of story to scientific hypothesis warp, travel began not in a lab, but in imagination. In 1966, Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry introduced a fictional propulsion concept that let the starship Enterprise cross light years by bending space and time. That story element planted a seed in science itself and eventually inspired physicists to ask, could space-time really be warped for travel? In 1994, theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre published a paper that turned fiction into mathematics. His Alcubierre drive described how space-time could be contracted in front of a ship and expanded behind it, forming a warp bubble moving faster than light relative to outside observers. While the ship inside stayed locally still, it cleverly exploited a loophole in Einstein's relativity. While nothing can move through space faster than light, space-time itself can stretch or compress without breaking the rule. But there was a catch. Alcubierre's metric demanded negative energy density, exotic matter, not known to exist on the scale of a solar mass or more, elegant in math, impossible in engineering. Warp drive remained a beautiful idea, trapped in theory. New physics toward realistic models fast forward to the 2020s. And warp physics has taken a surprising turn. Researchers have moved beyond, is it allowed? Two, could it work physically? And the answers are getting more interesting. In 2021, Alexi Bobrik and Gianni Martiri introduced a new warp drive model that no longer requires negative energy. Their approach relies only on positive physical energy, though still at astronomical levels. This was a profound shift. Warp theory was no longer forbidden by physics, only limited by technology. The principle remains the same as spacecraft inside a locally flat bubble with space-time contracting ahead and expanding behind, but now. The bubble can be sustained with known forms of energy. The biggest hurdle isn't physics anymore. It's the sheer energy demand, still comparable to multiple Jupiter masses. Yet this evolution marks a milestone from violates known laws to allowed in principle. Why it matters warp drive research is far more than Star Trek nostalgia. It forces physics to confront the nature of space-time, energy, and motion itself. For decades, light speed was considered an unbreakable wall. Warp physics reframes the problem. You don't move through space, you move space itself. New models, like Bobrick and Martiri's, satisfy the energy conditions of general relativity. They use ordinary matter to shape space-time instead of exotic energy, and they open a new question. If such bubbles can exist, could we detect them in nature? Some researchers now propose that gravitational wave observatories might spot the telltale. Ripples of a warp bubble forming or collapsing. In other words, warp drive has entered mainstream advanced propulsion physics. How warp drive works in theory to understand the concept. Imagine a ship resting in the center of a bubble of warped SPACETIME.1 local versus external frames side the bubble. The ship experiences no acceleration it's stationary relative to the space-time around it. But externally, the bubble itself moves through the universe, carried by the warping of space too. Compression and dot. And expansion the bubble contracts space-time ahead and expands it behind, effectively riding a space-time wave. This is the essence of the Alcabir metric.3. Bubble geometry, the bubble's shape, is critical. Early designs were spherical and hugely inefficient. 
modern refinements, song-gated, or toroidal. Geometry scan cut the energy cost by orders of magnitude. Four energy requirement told models demanded exotic negative energy. Newer ones use positive energy, but still in massive amounts, perhaps the energy equivalent of several Jupiters. Reducing that requirement is one of the field's main goals. Five, engineering challenges even if the physics checks out. The engineering is staggering, generating and shaping that energy, maintaining bubble stability, and ensuring safety for anything inside. Six, no time paradoxes because the ship never travels locally faster than light. Causality remains intact in like wormholes or other faster than light ideas that risk time travel paradoxes. Seven, detection. Possibilities warp bubbles might emit detectable signatures gravitational or electromagnetic. Ripples providing a new avenue for technosignature searches. If another civilization mastered this, we might find evidence long before we could replicate it. Why? It's more. Then science fiction even, if a working warp ship lies centuries ahead. The study of warp physics has immediate value. A expanding physics pushing. Against the limits of space-time tests, the foundations of relativity and quantum field theory. Just as rocket research advanced fluid dynamics and lunar missions refined materials, science. Warp studies could reveal new. Physics of energy and G-E-O-M-E-T-R-Y B near-term. Applications, miniaturized or sublight warp fields. Could offer practical benefits, reducing inertial forces during high acceleration. Flight providing radiation shielding through space-time. Manipulation improving propulsion efficiency by reshaping local space-time even partial control over these effects could transform spacecraft design. C. Searching. For advanced civilizations, zift warp technology is possible. Advanced civilizations might already use it. Instead of looking only for radio signals, SETI could search for space-time distortions or gravitational blips consistent with warp bubbles. This reframes the question of how intelligence might manifest across the cosmos. De-engineering and energy frontiers meeting the energy demands of warp physics could drive. Breakthroughs in fusion, superconductors, and vacuum energy control, even if the ultimate goal remains far off. The technologies developed along the way could revolutionize energy and propulsion here on. Earth the road ahead, the theoretical green light doesn't make warp drive imminent. But it does provide a research path. One, reduce energy requirements optimizing. Bubble geometry and stress energy distribution is key. Some simulations suggest refinements could reduce energy needs from planetary to asteroid scale levels still immense but less absurd too. Lab-scale analogs before creating a real warp bubble. Researchers aim to reproduce small-scale analogs. NASA's Eagle Works Laboratory developed the White Jude Interferometer to detect minute space-time distortions. Similar experiments may soon test warp field effects at microscopic scales.3. Simulation and modeling tools like warp. Factory and numerical relativity solvers let scientists explore bubble configurations and space-time stress distributions. Mapping what's stable or efficient before any real-world tests. Four, searching for signature astrostasis. Are examining gravitational wave and electromagnetic data for anomalies that might resemble war bubble behavior. Detecting one Evan from a natural or alien source would confirm the effect is real. Five towards sublight bubble sum. Proposals explore creating slow warp bubbles for protection or acceleration within the solar system without exceeding light speed. Even partial success would revolutionize deep space travel.6. Realism and ethics despite optimism. Claims of warp drive within a decade are unrealistic. Energy scales, materials, and stability issues are still monumental. Ethical questions about safety, resources, and environmental impact must also be part of the discussion where we stand to summarize. Warp drive has evolved from storytelling to legitimate. Theoretical physics, the Alkabir drive. 
1994, showed the mechanism contracting and expanding spacetime. The main barrier negative energy has been overcome in newer positive energy models. The challenge now is engineering, not physical law. Warp research connects to frontier fields, gravitational waves, advanced energy. And SETI, we've moved from forbidden by physics to not yet buildable. Why it matters no we care about a technology that might be centuries away. Because warp research embodies the essence of scientific progress. Every giant leap from flight to the moon began as an outrageous dream. Studying warp physics is an act of curiosity that deepens our understanding of reality itself. The tools developed high-precision interferometers. Vacuum energy experiments, space-time simulations will yield advances long before any warp ship flies, and by widening our search for extraterrestrial life to include space-time anomalies. We broaden the definition of what civilization can be, ultimately. The pursuit of warp travel is about humanity's relationship with the unknown. It reminds us that boundaries exist to be tested, not ignored. But understood, as one recent paper concluded, the physics checks out. The challenge now is energy and engineering. Whether the first warp vessel carries humans, robots, or remains a theoretical construct, the journey toward it will teach us more about the universe and ourselves than any destination ever could.